Well, how you doing, Mike Bradley? I hope you're doing well as always. I wanted to show you a really, really cool uh, idea. And uh, if you've been watching my recent videos, um, I've been kind of playing this idea and this kind of lick quite a bit. Um, I love it. It's uh, It just gives it that kind of pro sound <laughs> without sounding too hippie and new age. But um, it's, I often talk about defining the thirds and how thirds um, are really important in blues, you know, or blues rock or anything really. And what I'm doing here, you could look at it as I'm playing a major scale and I'm throwing in this flat, flattened third to the major third, but with a cheeky bit of sliding. And I love sliding, it gives it a cool little bit of personality. And uh, I wanted to show it to you. Um, you know, so it can be played many different ways. So at the beginning I played it a little bit there, but that's the the meat and potatoes of it, right? And then you can take it and manipulate it. But it's that idea. But this little that's what I'm mainly gonna show you. So let's go for a little zoom in. Right, close up or crotch shot. <laughs> so, I'm doing this in the key of C. Just because I seem to want to play in C today. So, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm starting off on this full fret, which is the E flat, which is the flattened third, and slide into the, to the E, the major third. And then the rest is just literally going down the scale. So, so I'll be playing F on the 6th fret on the 2nd string and then G on that same string on the 8th fret. And then going back to that 4th fret and sliding uh, twice uh, to the 5th fret. So you got that. And then when I do a little roll up to that 3rd fret on the 3rd string. So you got that. Now that in itself is really cool. But we're gonna add a bit more to it. I'm gonna slide A to G on the full string on the seventh fret, back to the fifth fret. Then go to the F note on the third fret. And now we're gonna do the minor third major third again. So E flat, slide to E. to the C on the third string, fifth fret. And if you want, throw in the low C. So really, really simple, sorry. So, hi, uh, <laughs> I only got one camera today. Um, but yeah, so really, really simple little thing. But it just add, it, it just makes you sound good. That's what it's all about. It's about sounding good and looking cool. So then if you're doing it in the real world, so... So there I did the exact same idea in, in a real world situation, in, a, in an improvised thing. The, the rhythm was changed, but it's still the same note. So nothing's verbatim, nothing's written in stone. Uh, take it and make it your own. There you have it, hopefully you agree. That's a very, very cool sounding, bluesy, melodic, just, I don't have to be in blues, just a melodic kind of playing. You know, touching, I suppose, gives it a bit of a sophisticated blues, if you're going to do it, or sophisticated jazzy blues kind of thing. Um, but I really like that, you know, and if you are someone who is thinking, oh, I don't want to just do pentatonics all the time, um, you know, just doing that, we're just, you know, essentially it's a C major pentatonic, or C major pentatonic if you're going to look at it in a in layman's term. <laughs> C major pentatonic, and we're just and adding that in it. 
all right? Um, so if you just think of anywhere you see an E, uh, go back a fret, you've got E flat. Uh, let me know what you think. Please let me know what you think and if it helps you and um, if you've got any other ideas, share them away in the comment section below so for everyone else we can share and uh, learn from each other. I am so hot in this room. <laughs> I am just soaking right now. It is so hot in, in the UK at the moment, in England. And uh, with lights on and oh my God, I can't have the fan on, it'd be too noisy. But just so you know, I have probably lost a stone in weight in doing this video. So, you know, <laughs> appreciate the love I'm sharing with you <laughs> Hope you're all very, very well. Like I say, let me know in the comment section below uh, how, what you think of it, how you get on with it and whatnot. Uh, if you haven't already, check out MikeBradleyMusic.com and you can get some CDs uh, and also soon to be t-shirts. T-shirts are in the making, I promise. I will get something sorted soon. And uh, if you haven't already, make sure you follow me on Instagram and Facebook, it all helps uh, get uh, get the Mike Bradley name out there so I can reach as many of you as possible. You know? And also, thank you to everyone on Patreon. I said to get that, it's very, very important. Thank you to all uh, the guys who uh, support me on Patreon. It truly means a lot. Uh, anyway, hope you're very, very well. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. If you haven't, what's wrong with you, man? And, I will, and woman, no sexism on this channel. Uh, hope you're very well, and I will see you very, very soon. Mike Bradley, a very wet Mike Bradley, signing out. <coughs>